Hey guys, um, I'm Nova. I'm Malin. And this is our <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, today we are just going to talk about dance topics since this is our first podcast and we are both on the dance team. So we thought it would be fun if we went through a bunch of questions that we both um, got for each other and to answer as well. So we could tell our experiences with dance because we're both very long term dancers. How long have you been dancing for? I think like I've been dancing for eight. Eight years? Eight really? Wait, wait, wait. I thought I it, was no, 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 it was longer than that. Okay, I was going to say, I thought you would be dancing for a lot longer. I think it's, like, I think it's been 10? 10 years? Ten, oh, okay, okay, okay. I've been dancing for 13. Just a one up, yeah. All right. No, you're <laughs> older than me, so. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, you, you're one year younger than me. You could still be dancing okay, for so 13 years. No, 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 no. I've been dancing for. Okay, no, no, now you're bringing it up. Dance, I've been dancing for 11 years. I've been dancing since I was three, so. I've been dancing since I was four, so. What's 17? 17. What? Hmm? 17. No, that would be, that would be. I'm not 17. No, I, I would be dancing for 15 years then. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, mm-hmm. if I was dancing since I was three, 17, 16, 15. Oh, wait, 14. Oh. I've been dancing for 14 years. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay so um do you want to start with questions or do you want me to start it go ahead and start it you want me to start it okay um well the first question that i had was um i'm gonna go out of order because the question that i have as first is the question that i already told you and i don't want that to be the first question um what was the process being a beginner t- from or what was the process be- between being a beginner dancer and to now Oh, like when I started? Like, your, like how you started dancing. Like, oh. Like what was your process then and your process now? Well, I've been doing all sorts of types of dance, like, mm-hmm. you know, since I was younger. So, like, the process of doing it from, like, the beginning, like, I wasn't, I wasn't a horrible dancer, but I definitely wasn't. Oh, like no, I sucked. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I, I literally, when I first started dancing, I didn't know what I do. I still do this. I have a really bad side eye. Everybody knows this. Um, where I just stare at people from the side because I'll forget, like, what I'm talking about. And, or not what I'm talking when about. Dancing, when I'm dancing, yeah. I'll forget, like, the movement. But you can only see it if you really look in my eyes. I just have, like, this weird side eye. And everybody makes fun of me for it, but it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Like it's as long as you're not like fully like turning your neck, like you know. I mean, but I've done that before. <laughs> I have videos of whenever. So I didn't really get competitive with dancing until I was on the team. Mm-hmm. Like, cause like all the the years that I've kind of been dancing, I kind of just took it as a class because I wanted to do a sport and dancing was my thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody knew me as like the dancer of the family. Um, but most of the, most of the time, I've just kind of been like trying to figure out like myself with dance because I do want to go into dance and I do really want to like go into like My career so, wise? So, not career wise but I want to do something with like dance so because as in like it maybe it be like ha- I'll have a musical maybe I'll, I'll like dance in like the back of a musical like I don't want to be a main character really I just want to like do something for myself mm-hmm. kind of more than for other people mm-hmm. to please other people so um my whole thing with dance isn't like I want to show people how I've how I can dance it's more so like I'm just doing it just for my own happiness Mm -hmm. kind of because I like to perform um but when I was younger I was just like I, I just I took the class and I wasn't taking it seriously so I never even really got better at dancing until I was on the team oh like in high school yeah like I never really like well okay was whenever we f- we met each other, or not whenever we met each other, whenever we... Um, started at the... Yeah, whenever I started at your studio. So when I started at that studio, I kind of just like, I was just like, you know what? Like, I want to I wanna do this for myself. I want to be a good dancer because I don't want to like dance in front of people. And then it's like, I'm, I suck. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, I'm doing it for myself, but you suck. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I still do it like as of like to be a better performer, but I do, I, I like... To perform. I like to perform. In any way. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I get, like, dancing can be can be stressful. Like, I don't know. I just, like, when I first started, it was, I, I only, my mom put me in it because we moved here. And then mm-hmm. I was just like, okay. And she was like, it was close, not close to where we live. Cause my dance studio was actually really far away. But Which one? The studio. This studio. It's far away oh. from where I live. 
It's it is close. It's like studios. a twenty minute drive. It's like a thirty minute drive. Well, depending on traffic. Yeah, yeah <sighs> traffic can be bad, but it's like, um, yeah, I started there and then I was doing it and then I took a break mm-hmm. and then I started doing it again. Like seriously, like I was in competition and stuff, and because and I've been doing ballet and stuff, but like it just sucks because my technique isn't like I did ballet once and I quit. Really, <laughs> I did it. I I took one. So my mom, she was like, um, like at my old studio, it was like where you could like you could test a class, mm-hmm. so you could go in for like one day and see if you like it or not. Um, so I did that for your ballet, and well, I've already done ballet before, but this was like where my mind is actually like. Like, I can see how I like it or not. Mm. So I was in probably s- fifth, sixth grade. Um, and I hated it. Be- but I honestly love it now. I love mm. Because I love the technique. I love the... Um, the uh, I think, honestly, to me, I think ballet is the hardest dance. It definitely is. But it's people, the most technical. Yeah, because people... Because, like, all dance is technically rooted in mm-hmm. ballet because a lot of stuff come from it like in terms of technique and stuff mm-hmm. so like it's people tend to discredit it mm-hmm. a lot like they'll say it's because like they think it's boring yeah. unless it's like a full performance like what, what what's the really famous the nutcracker mm-hmm. like people people think of it as boring that's why but yeah but i think it's especially beautiful. it's so pretty because so even is i i started in point last year i was mm-hmm. in pre-point and it, it <laughs> hurts it hurts so mm-hmm. bad like i oh my gosh i tried it like i tried one of the classes and i i used my friend's point shoes because i was just trying it i didn't want to like get point shoes and then i never use it even though you only you only use it for like two weeks and yeah. you have to get a new yeah. pair <laughs> but i i never really like wanted to do point mostly because i just don't think not that i don't want to try for the te- or like I don't want to do the technique but I just like I, I don't think it's for me because mm-hmm. being very like your posture has to be really good like you have to be really flexible I mean you don't have to be really flexible but if you want to like I think you're pretty flexible in general so like I don't but not I, I don't have control Jaden has control mm-hmm. Jaden like you how she can keep her leg up for like a suspension or like any type of like dance like it's hard it's it's, it's really bad like I can't, I don't have that. Mm-hmm. Like even like right now in our contempt, I can't like that one little that, suspension. That thing got me. I can't <laughs> like I, I can do one little kick and then I'm done. But I, the, I'm, i I would say I'm only flexible, not dance wise, but gymnast, gymnast wise. Mm-hmm. So I like to, um, like I, my back is really bendy obviously, but um, I got my, that's where I got my flexibility. I didn't get it from dance. I got it from gymna- Gymnast- yeah. gymnastics. So I did, um, gymnastics. I think it was like a year or two, mm-hmm. but then I stopped cause my instructor was so mean. I was like really? six and he was the, he was so mean. And it was like, any t- I would come home, like my mom would come into the gym, like after the, like the session or whatever. Uh-huh. And I would be crying. She'd be like, what happened? <laughs> and then he would try to joke around like, no, she's okay. You're fine, <laughs> she's right? fine. Yeah, I just kind of yelled was, at her a yeah, little bit. He would, he would literally scream at me. And I was like, I'm six. Like, I don't <laughs> know what you want me to do. No, I had, I did. I, okay. So when I moved here, I had a huge like decision because in Washington, I did dance, gymnastics and soccer at the same time. So I had to okay. choose between my three sports they're all my favorite. Like I love each and every one of them because soccer, I love the competitive, uh, com, com, what is it? Compe- com- 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 competitiveness. Yeah. I like, cause I like being able to like push people. Like it, that's, that's my like, I don't want to say grungy side, but like <laughs> that's my like side that I actually like to like, get down, yeah. but I can't get down. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, and then like gy- gymnastics is like another thing, but it's like, it's less stressful than dances. Dances like you can only be good if like you dance a certain way cuz you know even if you dance your own way I still feel like like people are going to think that it's weird well, or like people always find things to nitpick that's true. about. That's very true. Stuff. Did you we got off topic. I know. Um yeah. but w- the whole like dance in general just like I feel like I got the process itself it got better but it's not easier Mm -hmm. it definitely got it got harder better as in like it was better it was easier for me to see myself perform Mm -hmm. but back then I was just I was just like even like while watching me dance at that time I would be like oh my god I'm so bad 
like I hated watching myself dance. That's, yeah, but it's especially um, I felt that way too. Especially like um, like last year, mm-hmm. I I because I knew I had improved compared to how I like used to be. Mm-hmm. But then it was like when I watched like the showcase, I was like, yikes! Like, <laughs> I was like, this is not good at all. But then like when I saw myself perform, um, uh, for the first rally this mm-hmm. year. I was like, I was, I actually always like, oh, I did good. Like mm-hmm. I wasn't, I was like, okay, I could have fixed this part. I could have changed this. But then I was like, I actually like it was better. Yeah. 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 So the first, oh, I was watching it today and I was so, I, I was so annoyed with myself. I was just like, God, no. cause you think like when you're dancing, you think you're doing really good. And you think that like you like, oh, like I did oh, yeah. all of this, like, but then you look back and you're like really sloppy or mm-hmm. like, that was me freshman year. Even last year, I hated a lot of it because I felt like I was always just like rushing through it, mm-hmm. and then it goes by really fast, and then I'm like, 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 yeah. okay, I don't want to show this, but yeah, I feel like, I, like in general, dance takes a lot of time. It takes yeah. really good process, mm-hmm. like really good process. Yeah, you want dance to be challenging though, because mm-hmm. if it's not challenging, then it's mm-hmm. it's not gonna be fun. I yeah. feel like yeah. so. Okay. Do you want to go to the next question? Sorry. Find the damn question. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, mm. Just pick one. You don't have to do like an order or anything. Okay. How do you come up with choreography? Like the process. That including both like your individual dances and rallies. Usually for me, I mean, everybody's different, but usually for me, I can't get choreo that makes sense to me or looks good to me unless I'm doing a movement to the song. Mm -hmm. So like I have to listen to it and then like do it, like just dance because if I, and I, you know, you have to joke around like every time that we choreograph, it's just, we'll be goofing off or doing some stupid thing and we'll be like, oh, wait, that's good. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, like, okay. It's, it's, it's a process, but I, I, that's how I, that's just how I, I work because anytime that I'm just like thinking of the lyrics, I'm like, then I, I focus too much on the lyrics, but I'm like, I'm kind of like the opposite. Mm -hmm. I like, I tend to choreograph choreograph Chore- i did the choreograph both like based on lyrics mm-hmm. and like i try to listen to the rhythm and stuff but then sometimes be like okay i've been like dancing to the music let me try to find like a lyric or like try to tie a move into whatever the person's saying mm-hmm. yeah i have uh, whenever i'm i feel like anytime that like i'm choreographing with other people i have a hard time mm-hmm. because yeah, it's so it's bro, so difficult no, it's so difficult because it sometimes it just be like oh how about this move no no oh oh okay all right and it just gets shut down like it'll be a good idea too and you think because you see it on other people but then it's like you have to take in consideration with the other people that you were dancing with because not every yeah not everybody's going to be able to dance that way Mm -hmm. so it's hard especially like choreographing with a team choreographing i feel like for yourself is really easy because you know what you can do you know know how you dance mm -hmm. and stuff but other people it's not going to look right on them so you have to try to change it or figure it out or make it to where you can explain it to somebody and make it to where you can put whatever movement you have on yourself on other people. Mm -hmm. Like Burns always says, she's like, I wish I could just take a part of me and put it on you because it's, it's hard. It's really hard. But that, with <laughs> oh like how well because you were talking and then i i answered well because i followed up on whatever you said i, oh, forgot I don't what even I, remember what i was talking but like basically like when we choreographed rally it was like i was i was ecstatic like when i tell you when she told okay when she was like you guys are going to choreograph rally i was like oh, oh, my, god. oh my god and I that was, was the so process and now we're like yeah i want to <laughs> do it <laughs> it's just because of how like time consuming time consuming especially because we have to balance like need to meet up at someone's house and we get distracted know, but yeah we get distracted but then it's like we have to come up with choreography mm-hmm. then we have our own small groups we have to work on and then we have homework and yeah then we, like and then like chores and stuff like it's just it can be difficult to balance mm-hmm. everything it's i i feel like like if you're a really organized person like i was an organized person mm-hmm. i'm trying to be <laughs> like i try to have like a planner and i try to plan out little things but i always do something last minute and the reason why is because i i forget things really easily mm-hmm. and so whenever i 
don't put it down on a piece of paper or on my phone or a reminder, I always end up like forgetting it. And I'm always like, what were we talking about? Like, <laughs> no, you- I have a really bad, or if I talk too fast, you you guys always, you're like, mm-hmm. okay, it's okay. Yeah. Because I, I talk too fast and then I forget what I'm talking about because I'm talking too fast. And I'll be like, what the, the, the. You just and I get up. annoyed with myself and then I stop talking. Yeah. But it's, it's annoying because it's just like, if people are looking at you when you're talking, it's like, oh my gosh. they're like, that's how it feels core. Yeah. <laughs> like when we're choreographing and then you're trying to explain things and everybody just gives you like a, yeah. That like, they're so un like enjoy. Yeah. Uh, like interested like, and like, it's just so deadpan. And sometimes why that's did how you join dance? Why did you join it? <laughs> no, but it's sometimes how people can process information. Like sometimes people are just like, if they're taking in what you're saying, they can just be looking at you like this. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes it just feels like they're just like, they stop talking. I'm yeah. Like, like, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. Like if you didn't want to be ba- like, I feel like if you're going to join a team or you're going to join something, you have to like look it up. Mm -hmm. Like you can't just be like, look at a TikTok and be like, oh, I want to dance. But like you have to look at the process behind it because if you're going to go into something and then you're thinking it's just going to be really easy, don't. You can't go into something thinking it's just going to be, oh, easy peasy. Like I'm going to get this right away because obviously that's not how, that's not how life works. You can't just go into like, that's like going into like, oh, I want to be a police officer, but I'm not going to go to college. Mm -hmm. It's easy. I see it on the TV. Like you can't do that. It's for everything. It's for every sport. You can't just like look at something and then just because you understand a sport doesn't mean you can't do it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. (laughs) Truth hurts. But I definitely feel like there's nothing wrong with like doing it because maybe, maybe you are good. Like maybe your friends say you're good at filming TikToks. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, let me try for the dance team then. But there's a difference between TikTok dance. No, no, no. There's a difference between like seeing something and loving doing something on like social media Mm -hmm. and actually doing it Mm -hmm. like you can yeah you could like um do like your tiktok dances and yeah blah 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 blah. but if you join a team and you're just expecting it to be that like you you have to have like a mindset like yeah but i'm saying i feel like it's okay if you have that mindset at first Mm -hmm. no i think it's yeah yeah no but i'm saying like once you realize oh mm -hmm. okay this is different than what i thought it would be you need to like kind of like yeah you need to distance like just be like hey sorry i didn't think this this is what i was gonna do or yeah at least at the beginning yeah then if but i don't feel like you should just give up that no don't give up yeah don't give up okay this is what i was trying to say if you have a actual like passion you see something out all the time like (laughs) <laughs> if you ha- like for instance like i got i got really back into dance because i got i, I got into k-pop but slowly that's dying out of What's me K-pop? we're not talking about this um slowly that kind of died out of me um not just just because they all of their songs have dances in it and so i got really into dancing and that's how i kind of started to critique start critiquing myself and start like trying to get moves right because then I was see other people doing it and I'm like okay I don't want to look like that I want to mm-hmm. be good like I want to be good yeah. I want to try hard I want to do this and because even sorry god even with like the k-pop dance cover like sometimes it would be like like they're trying but they're not actually like perf- but then perf- you can I'm see not performing it, it but like I don't want to explain it, but like you could see, like, cause even I don't want to s- explain it, like I'm sounding like a. <laughs> but there's even when you <laughs> <laughs> when you're taught, like, uh, for example, the K-pop. He <laughs> just walked. Away I know. Like super villain. <laughs> I don't know. I learned. I can't. But even um, like K-pop dance covers and stuff. Like even you can see like actual K-pop idols because I've seen like past videos, mm-hmm. or, like where they'll actually be on like those K-pop dance teams and mm-hmm. they're like be like not good yeah but then it's like now you see them now they have facial expressions they have mm-hmm. stage presence even though a lot of, sorry don't mean to get off topic about k-pop but a lot of the k-pop industry does not have no <laughs> stage presence like i don't it annoys me so much because it does not come naturally and they're like yes they ate da, 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 da. no they did not <laughs> no, they did it <laughs> yes they ate no, no, they, did not. <laughs> no they did not because it's just oh my gosh sorry i'm gonna get heated i just no i i get it i get it though it's it's the same thing with like dance in general like mm-hmm. it's it, there's a difference between like when you're a dancer it's 
it's like when people say like, oh yeah, she's such a good dancer, but then like you, uh, you're the dancer yourself. Cause obviously other people who don't do that sport aren't going to see the flaws that a dancer is. Mm -hmm. So like if you're on stage and you're like, oh, I messed up. Like I did this wrong. I did this wrong. And people always say, nobody's going to know. Yeah. Cause they don't do the sport. Yeah. But if you have a dancer in the audience and you're looking at it, you're like, oh, they fell oh, out they, of their turn. Yeah. Oh, they did this wrong. Like, cause you know. But like, if it's on purpose, you can tell if it's on purpose. Mm -hmm. And it's, it irritates me because it's like, people will like push behind the fact that like, they're sorry. Why are you? <laughs> because you got me scared. What no, I was, I just, I, <laughs> I can't keep eye contact. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but cause if I keep eye contact, I lose train of thought. Because I'm looking at you, but then the pole is like in I the know, middle. I know, it's like right eyes. in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Oh, it's okay. Um, but in general, just like I hate whenever I'm watching people and then they're like, "Oh my god, they're so good!" I'm like, like no. I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be mean, but like because it's like I'm, I'm not. Be mean. I'm not perfect by any means. No, I'm not, I'm not perfect, perfect at all. Yeah. So, but, but you just, can see. But you can see who. Also, sorry, not to go. Why do? Why do? K-pop fans call everything professionalism these days. Uh -uh. They call everything professionalism. I don't mean to get off topic and stop, start talking about K-pop. <laughs> K-pop fans call everything, oh my gosh, professionalism. No, like what are they supposed to do? I get when they drop something, oh my God, that was so professional. Yeah. Like what are they supposed to, hold on, stop the music. I need to go pick up my bracelet. Like yeah. what are you, I don't, anyways. Like professionalism is, is I feel like is ignoring something or kicking something off to the side with a movement. Yeah, like that's it, professionalism. Mm -hmm, but like, if they're, if they're like singing while, a Adjusting their thing, I don't think that's professionalism. As yeah, like or even well, because I know it's K-pop dancing. Because mm -hmm. a lot of them, if their hair is in their faces and stuff, they like flick it away. Mm -hmm. But it's just like it's something that we've learned in dance, like where you're not. That's supposed that's to a do normal anything. thing in dance. Yeah, yeah, where you're not supposed to. But I'm saying like in K-pop dancing, mm -hmm. if they'll their touch hair's their in the hair, way, yeah, they'll like they'll like they'll like brush that. it to the side. Uh -huh. But in here, or maybe it's just our coach. But in general, I feel like you can't do that. You're not supposed. Yeah, yeah, so like. When you're on stage, you can't be touching your hair, fixing your outfit. Like Burns always says, if you got a boob out or a butt out or anything, if you have anything hanging out, just gotta you can't you gotta you gotta fix it. Your like you gotta fix it when either you get off stage or like with a, a movement, yeah, like or just put like the thing back. Just yeah, yeah, you got you gotta figure it out because sorry, I got way too close to the mic. Um, you gotta figure it out because it's like you can't be like in the middle of a movement and you're like solo and you're over here like yeah you know, just because it's wait. that's that's professionalism for me mm -hmm. is knowing how to fix something without making it seem like obvious yes like, that's professionalism for yes. me but yeah okay you know. did we answer that what was the question i have I, uh, no oh i was talking about rally like the coming oh up coming up with <laughs> okay but anyways yeah coming up with choreo is just it's time consuming in general and i think it's just in general like Doing rally speci specifically with all three of us, it was a lot better mm -hmm. because I feel like we all have similar styles of how we dance. Mm -hmm. Or if we do have similar, as in like we have, we will be able to um, have a movement that looks the same, but we could all do it different ways. Yeah. So, and we will all do like maybe it'll be a ground movement, but we'll all do it like differently or different, like our arms will be different, our legs will be different, but it'll be the same movement. And I feel like that's really good about it. But if like you have two totally different dancers, um, like I've danced with people before and it's been like, they're, they are really preppy and then I'm really grunge or like I'll be, I wanna be preppy and then they wanna be grunge and it just doesn't clash together because how they want the style and then how I want it just doesn't really go together. But you know, you meet those people and you're going to have those struggles. And that's how, kind of how you become stronger as a dancer in general is just trying to figure out how you can move around um, the struggles of dance. And that's what I've kind of learned from it is you can't just take everything. Up the Yeah. <laughs> and just expect it to just go your way. You mm -hmm. can't. That's not how life works. So in general, just like whenever I'm dancing, I try to I try to keep an open mind. There it is. You have to you have to have an open mind when you're performing or whenever you're choreographing mm -hmm. because you can't just like be like oh I wanted to go my way yeah also you can't have it to where it's like if like if a movement is weird to you this is something that we talk about all the time yeah. when people think movements are weird just because it's different than like mm -hmm. just because uh, for example hip-hop 
hip hop is so versatile. Like there's so many things you can do with hip hop. Mm -hmm. So anytime I just, what makes me upset is when people see anything different and they'd be like, Oh, this is weird. No, it's just different movement. It's Mm -hmm. not the same as what you're used to maybe, Mm -hmm. but it's not, (laughs) it's call it. It, we always say it's going to look good if you make it look good. Yeah, if you like if you're going to, if you want to half butt it, sorry, I can't swear. <laughs> but if you want to like half do it and then it's like, you're, you're like, oh, like I'm too scared to do it. It's not going to look good. Yeah. You can't just expect something to not look good because you, like you, you're scared of doing it. Mm-hmm. Do it on your body. And then if it looks good to you, then you'll see it look good. Like I've had times where it's like, I'll do movements and I'm like, oh, this is kind of awkward. Yeah. But then I look back and I'm like, oh, it's actually like really cool. Mm-hmm. Or like anytime that I see like, um, I'll be scrolling through TikTok and I'll see like a person do like a move. And I'm like, that's a little like, if I was teaching that and showed them, like if it was like, like that one ground chest movement that they do. Oh, I love them. I, love, I love, it. love it. But it looks good because they're performing and they look confident doing uh-huh. it. Dance is about confidence. You gotta, got, you have gotta have confidence. You can't. Also, yeah, they're also in unison. Cause yeah, when, when if you're too. not together, it looks so stupid. It just, <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, like it's not gonna look right if you're not together. Not at all. But like, yeah, I think it's just I, I hate. I this one of my pet peeves. Like when people are just like, oh, that looks weird. Like no. when they're not open to. Self. Yeah, when they're not open to at least trying it. Mm-hmm. Or, like, trying to figure out, like, oh, okay, this is new movement. Let me, like, at least attempt it before yeah. I'm just, like, okay, I don't like this. Yeah. One thing, sorry, before you ask No, go ahead, go ahead. One thing that is hard with choreographing, chore- choreographing, choreographing, um, like, rallies and stuff is because sometimes the creative juices do not flow no, at nope. all. Yeah. So sometimes it's, like, we tend to be, like, okay, let's do this. But then we're, like, okay, like, this was similar to the same movement we've mm-hmm. done like for something else that's oh why i'm i'm a little nervous yeah for this really because i'm scared that people are gonna be like what the heck is this like i, I just mm-hmm. i don't i don't want that reaction that, i feel like that's that's the hardest part of dancing in front of your peers that don't know how to dance is mm-hmm. like they they're gonna think something's weird no matter what yeah but if you dance it with confidence they'll they won't say so much about it i feel like mm-hmm. but either way you're gonna get backlash like it's just a part like that's another thing like you just you have to expect no what is what am i trying to say you can't expect everybody to like like what like what you're gonna do you can't you're gonna have haters you're gonna have you know these little people that are gonna critique you are gonna like you mess up one little part and it's gonna be like oh they did this wrong oh they did this wrong like obviously like like it's just it's hard it's hard and they don't get that it's hard but they're gonna say something because you know they have nothing better to do with their lives so you can't get her Get her, Jade. Sorry. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Never mind. We're going to move on. <laughs> I don't know about that. You haven't seen that thing? No. What is that? He's like, get her, Jade. No, is it's that like, from like... It's like a... Just ask the question. No, what is it from? I think it's like... I think it's RuPaul's Drag Race, I think. Oh, I have no idea. No, I don't seen, watch it. I'm saying have like you a seen? Meme. Have you seen the one where it's like, I was born at a very young age. I couldn't walk. Oh yeah, it's so <laughs> funny to me because it's like obviously it's fake, yeah. but like everybody's like, oh, oh my, my god, like are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's so funny to me. Anyways, I think we're done. Yeah, we'll end so we gotta here. go. Yeah, we got um, class. So well, it's not class. It's a okay. Well, it's we have dance, yeah, but that's a class. No, the. Anyways, anyways, so thank you for <laughs> thank go you ahead for, sign out. Thank you for watching. Be proud. Thank you for watching. Po- thank you for watching our podcast. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Our our co- topics will always be about dance, so please stay tuned for other interesting not all the time. Debates, yeah, and stuff. Thank They'll you. They'll mostly be okay. Bye. Bye.